New tonight, polls are closed in the Knoxville City elections and results are still coming in at this hour. For the first time in 37 years, it appears Knoxville has a new judge. Tyler Cavaness is the unofficial winner for a municipal judge in Knoxville. He ran against John Rawson Jr., who has been on the bench for more than three decades. Another unofficial win tonight for incumbent Amelia Parker. She beat out Timothy Hill for City Council at large seat C. She keeps her seat for another four years. Keeping with City Council, Debbie Helsley is the unofficial winner for at large seat eight. She beat out Bentley Marlowe by almost double. Neither candidate was an incumbent in this race. Two candidates who did not face an opponent tonight, Lynn Fugit for City Council at large seat A and Charles Thomas, City Council District 5. Both candidates will keep their seats for another four years. And across state lines, Andy Bashir will serve as the governor of Kentucky for four more years. He beat out Republican candidate Daniel Cameron. We're back with John North, veteran journalist, with some analysis of this election, not just in Tennessee, but beyond. John, let's start with turnout dismal in the city of Knoxville. Yeah, really not not good at all. Disappointing. Uh, we told people it was looking disappointing for early voting. We told people to go vote. They didn't listen to us. Not good. Likely only 14 out of every 100 people who could vote did in this election. John, Old Guard and New Guard, both successful in the city election. City election, here's what sticks out in terms of the Old Guard. We had Judge John Rawson, who's been on the bench since Ronald Reagan was in office, 1986. He's out. Tyler Cavanis, the challenger, a young guy in his early 30s, comes along. Boom, he has won, it appears. City Councilwoman Amelia Parker keeps her seat. City, uh, yeah, Amelia Parker is kind of a, a maverick. Uh, a lot of people don't care for her in city government. There are some who thought, oh, yes, she's definitely going to lose this time around didn't happen. She had a well-funded challenger as well in Tim Hill. That's right. Let's move beyond Tennessee. What stands out to you across the country? A couple things I've been watching, people here have been watching, and people across the country have been watching. First, Andy Bashir, Democrat governor of Kentucky, wins re-election. A lot of people thought he might lose this on re-election. He keeps his seat. And then second, what strikes me, and I think this is really pretty amazing, is Ohio have a constitutional amendment that will ensure reproductive rights for women. Extraordinary. John North with the analysis.